So uh, this question asks us about um, two different ballistic pendulum experiments. So ballistic pendulum, um, this question does not explain very detailedly what is uh, what is happening in a ballistic pendulum, but example 7.9 has a very detailed walkthrough of this um, setup. So make sure you check example 7.9. But uh, just to do a quick recap of what's happening, in a ballistic pendulum, you have a pendulum that has a mass of big M, and then you have a bullet that has a mass of small m and a velocity v. It hits the block, it's embedded into the block, and its momentum makes the whole pendulum going up a little bit to a height of h. So um, there are two things that's happening here. The first is the conservation of momentum, so the initial momentum and v eventually becomes big m plus m prime because uh, it's an elastic collision. The bullet is embedded into the block, so um, the velocity after it hits the block, the velocity of both the block and the bullet is small m v over big m plus small m, or the other way, um, small v equals big m plus small m over small m times v prime. So that's step one. And step two is that afterwards, after it has the velocity v prime, this whole thing rise up to uh, a height of h, and that is conservation of kinetic energy and potential energy. So what happens is that um, the initial kinetic energy, um, assuming this point has no gravitational potential, uh, the initial kinetic energy are all transferred into uh, gravitational potential energy. So uh, that gives us v prime square equals 2gh, or v prime equals square root of 2gh. And if I plug in this um, expression into the previous one, this whole thing gives us a velocity of that v equals big m plus small n over small n of square root 2gh. So this is an expression for ballistic pendulum, and this is worked out in example 7.9. So if you have any more confusions, go back to that example and um, try to read through how it works out. Um, okay, so now let's go back to this question. In this question, we say that projectile wire results in an age of 2.6 cm, and a second projectile of the same mass causes pendulum to swing to twice as high, 5.2 cm. So we want to know uh, how much faster the second projectile is compared to the first one. So what this is saying is that we know H2 is two times H1, and we want to know what is V2 in terms of V1. So let's say V2 over V1 because it's the uh, same M, the mass are all the same. 2GH2 square 2GH1. So this really becomes uh, just the ratio caused by the height. So uh, this is. We can plug in the numbers, 5.2 centimeter of 2.6 centimeter. We don't have to because it already tells us it's twice as high. So it's square root 2. So we know um, the second projectile is square root 2 times the velocity of the first projectile. 